really emotional. I, I, I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> like an idiot. Is that because, does it kind of strike a chord with your own personal life? Well, no, not really, because my, my coming out story was different. I was raised by two women. And we, had, we Coming out for me was really easy. But for some reason, there was still something that resonated. I think an audience that isn't necessarily a you know, gay audience would still get it. You know, it's still a beautiful love story. You know, that's enough to get me in bits. You really feel for those characters, I mean... He does great character work, and there's something about, um, you know, these boys that are just, you know, discovering stuff in a really pure and innocent way, and in an environment which is, um, you know, not necessarily supportive. And I think that I think that still exists nowadays. I think it's still really relevant. It doesn't seem to have dated. I thought it might be quite dated when I saw it in a charming kind of nostalgic way, being 20 years old, you know. But actually, I think it still feels really relevant. Would it have a say in the kind of gay marriage debate that's going on at the minute? Maybe. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a basic love story. And it, 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 it's, it's, I suppose it affirms the idea that gay people fall in love in the same way that straight people fall in love. And the emotions are the same and the, the connection is the same. And, and therefore, you know, why shouldn't, why shouldn't we have the same rights and equality? You know, why shouldn't we have the equal uh, status as straight couples? Because the emotions are the same. Would it have a say in the kind of gay marriage debate that's going on at the minute? Maybe. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a basic love story. And it, 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 it's, it's, I suppose it affirms the idea that gay people fall in love in the same way that straight people fall in love. And the emotions are the same and the, the connection is the same. And, and therefore, you know, why shouldn't, why shouldn't we have the same rights and equality? You know, why shouldn't we have the equal uh, status as straight couples? Because the emotions are the same. And also, the great thing about theatre is it's very powerful. You know, it's, it's a really powerful thing, you know. I've, I've not seen the film in many years. The film was, you know, amazing. But something about seeing it in the theatre is just suddenly... You know, I remember kind of sitting there, watching it, going, I'm really enjoying this, I'm really enjoying this. And at some point, like it was like in first act, and I just, just went like that, bang! It hits you in a way that film is suddenly, distant. I was like, oh my God, and I was in bits, you know. It's really, it's a really lovely piece. I'm glad I got a chance to see it. So will you really spread the word about this play now, having seen it? Definitely, I'm going to tell lots of people to come and see it. I mean, anyone, anyone's going to enjoy it. It was also really fun, you know, really funny. It was hilarious. It's really funny, the writing's really smart, the dialogue's great, the characters. I mean, the characters are so well drawn that you don't have to do that much with the characters in order to really feel something. And that's a, a sign of great character work. You know, if you, if, you, if you have boring characters that you don't really care that much about, you have to chuck them off bridges and make them do extreme things in order to really feel anything. And actually, that doesn't even work. You know, when you have characters that you care about that much, you know, the slightest thing that happens to them makes you feel really emotional and you really want to protect them and you want to look after them. Even whether they sleep um, top to tail or at the same end of the bed, you're just right there, aren't you, with them? Just that little moment where he turns around and he's all oh, right. Lovely. Yeah, it's adorable. it's adorable. Tell me what you're up to at the minute. Are you writing any new music? Yes, I've just finished my fourth album. So um, it's been mixed at the moment. It's going out in October. And we have a tour in October and November, which is um, for the new record. I'm signed to BMG Records now, so I've got a new record deal, brand new start for us. But. Um, I've also been working on a musical theatre show and various other... Wow, there's so much to talk about that. Um, what's the musical theatre show? So me and my mate Tom, Tom's a TV writer, a guy called Tom McRae, really talented TV writer. He writes um, Doctor Who and he's uh, got a show called Threesome on Comedy Central. And, and we, we met you know, a year and a half ago and we kind of mentioned to each other that we like the idea of doing a musical and neither, neither of us had done it. I mean, I write pop music, he writes TV, but, and he writes movies and things. And um, neither, neither of us had done that, and we thought this is going to be quite a nice um, thing for us to both do. So we've been working on that. We were away this weekend working on it, and uh, we're quite inspired. It's going to be exciting. We're going to workshop over the summer and then see how it goes. Do you want to bring it to the West End? Yeah, of course I do. And what's it about, in a nutshell? Um, it's about men. It's about men, and it's about 
it's about just about it's a comedy um, and it's about what it is to be a man in the modern age I suppose so women are going to want to see it so they can understand men more also, and really hot guys in it so <laughs> and to do that, to, to drool over them. And then guys are going to want to see it to, to get to know themselves more too. Well, I think it's the kind of musical that guys are going to enjoy, you know, because not just the gays and the girls. It's a kind of musical that... The blokes. The blokes will like as well, because it, it's it's about them. And it's it's not in any way patronising or condescending. And it's not saying, you know, it's not, it's not really got a message or such. It's just watching these guys and seeing how they handle it, you know? How they handle being in a bloody musical, you know, it's tough. Now tell me just quickly about your album. So what's that going to sound like? Is it going to be different? Um, no, I just think it's going to be really... It's funny, I, I've, I've been working with a men ever since I made my first record. Um, and there's nothing wrong with them, but I've just realised that I'm much better at writing when I haven't got someone to look over, over my shoulder. Um, so it's a much more honest album than anything I've done in the last few years. Um, I wrote it... I wrote it after I left Island Records and before I signed with BMG. So I wrote it in the gap. And I've realized it's quite a good thing to do. You know, you just, Free. you have no one looking over your shoulder. You make the record and then you find out where you want it to go, what home you want it to go to. BMG Records are brilliant and we're just, you know, we're just working with them now promoting it. But they haven't really been involved in the writing or the production or that kind of stuff. We did that all ourselves. And it feels great. It feels like our first record again. Yeah, just well, just not, not, not affected by anyone. You know, we just, we just, it's a very truthful record. Um, it feels like the most truthful record I've done in, in years. And when will it be out? October. October. So I've got to wait quite a while. My birthday's in October. Then I'll get it as a present. Well, yeah, because we're mixing it at the moment, and then you've got that awful summer bit where no one does anything. So you've got to wait for the summer holidays. But we'll have singles and stuff on the radio before then. Well, I look forward to hearing them and go enjoy the party. Glad you like the, the play.